Hey, lovely people of YouTube. Today I'm going to share with you some incredible tips to last longer in bed. Stay tuned for this video. It's very, very good. All right, we are talking about how to last longer in bed. Make sure you watch this video all the way until the end because I'm going to share with you a link that can really help you if you have problems in lasting longer in bed or having uh, stamina problems and you have uh, low libido. So today I'm going to share with you some tricks. The first tricks I'm going to share with you are some basic tricks or a bit of homemade tricks, I would say, um, on how to, to last longer in bed. And, uh, and these tricks can help you, but they're not definitive. They're not um, forever. Uh, there are some other things that you can do to make it last for a lot longer, actually for your whole life. Uh, so th th these other, uh, it, it's more of an exercise, and I'm going to share with, I'm going to share that with you as well. Okay, I'm going to do that at the end of the video, uh, but um, I'm going to share with you first some tricks on how to uh, do it now, do it actually tonight. You can actually start. Um, doing these things tonight and, and lasting longer, but, but they're not definitive. They're not a, a way of, of, of solving the problem forever, okay? Uh, then I'm going to share with you uh, a way that you can actually work on it and uh, make it uh, last for the rest of your life. The most important thing is that you understand that this problem can be solved. If you have a problem like this, it can be solved. First of all, it can, you can do some tricks and then you can do actually exercises that can actually solve the problem forever in your life. And I know it's a problem that many men actually go through and uh, it's a problem that actually uh, lowers your self-esteem and, and, and doesn't let you be the lover that you can be. So it's important that you actually go through all these steps. Uh, do, so, do the tricks and do the exercises so that you actually can become a, a better lover and that you actually can enjoy sex much more, okay? especially from a mental side, because when you have that pressure of having to perform, it's difficult sometimes to um, to do it right. Uh, and, and the mind is always the, the part, I think, and more than the physical part. So uh, watch the presentation and I will be with you in a few minutes. All right, guys, let's start with this uh, presentation on how to last longer in bed and the key exercises for men. Okay, there's two main factors that affect your ejaculation control. The first one is your mind. Your mind, uh, at the end, uh, what you're thinking uh, controls a lot of your body. And uh, if you cannot really, if you're thinking too much or you're actually worrying too much about what you're doing and so on, it's going to be difficult to actually control yourself and control your body. So the mind is key in order to, to control your ejaculation. I'll go, I'm going to talk about it a little bit uh, in, a, in a while, okay? And the second thing is physical issues or physical problems. And um, these physical problems have uh, a solution. So the first thing you have to, to have in mind here that there's a solution for this, especially for the physical part. The mind is a bit more tricky and it's uh, something that you really have to work on and it's a more of a deeper thing to do and, and it's more in, within you. And okay, that, that it's uh, some exercises you can do as well, but but it's always a trickier side, okay? So I'm going to start with some short uh, shortcut tricks to to last longer in bed. These these tricks that I'm going to show uh, that I'm going to share with you here, they are a bit more uh, okay uh, homemade tricks, and these are these are going to help you, but they are not long lasting. They are not something that that will make you control your ejaculation. I'm going to talk about that at the end of the presentation. Okay, so the first one is to use condoms. Using condoms is going to help you. Why? Because you will have less friction when you introduce your penis in the vagina. Your penis will be less sensitive because you have there's something between the, her skin and your skin, so definitely you're going to be less sensitive, and therefore you will last longer. Uh, normally, that's how it works, and it's uh, actually some people use two condoms. Uh, I've heard of people uh, that say, "Hey, when I use two condoms, the friction is even less there, and and they can control it much better." So that's that's the first trick that you can use uh, to, to control your ejaculation and last longer, okay? Second one, avoid uh, arousing positions. Okay, this, the mind has a little bit to do here again, uh, but uh, positions that visually excite you, avoid them, it's especially at the beginning. You can do them at the end, but but at the beginning, avoid this. Uh, maybe there's positions that you like very much, and then and when you s see that you're, what you're doing, you, you cannot control yourself, okay? Positions with, deep, uh, with deeper penetration where you probably feel more, uh, okay? There's more friction that had that. The third point is there. Um, so there's, there's positions where you feel more and that those positions maybe you want to avoid at the beginning, okay? Start and stop. This one is simple. Uh, once you start penetration, um, 
start it and, and uh, until you feel you control it, okay? You start and, and, and you're in good control. Stop before you get close to ejaculation. Don't go to the end, okay? Because this is going to be very difficult to hold, okay? Just feel, once you feel you're, you've done it for a little bit and you're okay, you can control it in the situation, stop, okay? And then do whatever and start again, okay? It's, it's, it's a way of, of or change positions and whatever. It, it's a way of lasting longer, okay? And then start again and, and so on, okay? You can start and, and stop uh, as many times as you want, okay? The squeeze technique. This one works very well, actually, and and it's one that this is how you how you do this one. Um, um, when you're having sex, when you're having the penetration, you stop and you pull out when you feel you want to ejaculate. Don't wait until the last second, okay? But but once you feel you're about to ejaculate, that it's coming, you stop and you pull it out, okay? And you're gonna press with your fingers the lower part of the tip of your penis. This will reduce the, uh, the, the erection and that's going to avoid ejaculation as well, okay? I'm going to show you a picture so you have an idea, okay? This is how you do. You, you press with your, your thumb here in the, in the lower part of, your, of the penis and uh, you hold it like this and you press, okay? Press there. Press with both. You can press sort of like squeeze it, okay? That's why it's called the squeeze technique. And that's going to reduce the erection and it's going to stop from, uh, from ejaculation, okay? From ejaculating, okay? So it, it's a very good one. It works very well. The fifth one, um, it's getting her very aroused before you actually penetrate her, all right? Uh, so you get her very aroused and, and close to orgasm before penetration. I, I said close to orgasm, but you, she can actually has had already an orgasm. Actually, ideally, she would have had already an orgasm. Maybe uh, the sequence is right here below. You can see you start by kissing and touching, no penetration. You can go from there, you go to oral sex or G-spot stimulation where there's no penetration either. Actually, if you give good oral sex, you can give her an orgasm already. So she's already had an orgasm and she's, she, she sort of comes into more of an orgasmic state, all right? Uh, same thing with the G-spot stimulation. If you stimulate the G-spot, she's gonna, she's gonna go into, and if she has an orgasm, then she becomes totally orgasmic. But even if she doesn't have the orgasm, she's gonna start to be very aroused, very horny, and, and she's gonna be willing to, um, she's gonna be, closer to having an orgasm with penetration, if that comes uh, that way. And she's going to feel satisfied and it's much easier for you mentally as well. You're not going to have that pressure that I have to perform and I have to last for, I don't know, 15 minutes, okay? And then you go to penetration, okay? So that's the sequence. You start kissing, touching, oral, G-spot, masturbation as well. You can touch with the hand, whatever you want. Actually, without, any, without penetration, you can do anything, all right? This one works very well as well, all right? You need to have time. That's the only thing. The sixth one uh, is mind control. This is, uh, comes back to the beginning of this presentation, okay? It's a tricky one. Uh, it needs a lot of practice. It needs a lot of self-control uh, and time. And, 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 and probably you need some professional advice as well, okay? There's, there's uh, um, sexologists that can help you with this and, and, and can give you tricks on how to control your mind. I, I would not want to go into that into depth because you can, we can talk about this for hours. And it's, I just want to tell you that Mind control is, is very important in order to control your ejaculation. Okay, you need to be you need you need to be very centered. You need to know how to you know be strong enough to pull it out before you actually ejaculate. All right. Some things that can help, and this is my 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 my, my opinion or what I would like to tell you that I think it works, is try to concentrate on feel and and close your eyes and enjoy the moment. What I mean by that is that. Instead of thinking what you're doing, instead of thinking that I'm having sex and and have your eyes open and see what's happening, and that's gonna that's gonna your your head is your mind is gonna go you know, run and it's gonna go you know it's it's gonna start to be very aroused and and you are gonna actually hyperventilate maybe and and then you you cannot control what you're doing all right so instead of doing that just sit back relax. Close your eyes, let everything go, feel, and try to feel. Don't, don't be so visual. If you feel, it's going to be a bit easier, I think. This is my opinion. This is what I suggest you do and try it, and, and hopefully that can help you as well, all right? No do's, okay? This is what I think, and I, I highly recommend not to use pills because they have not been medically proven to be safe yet, all right? There's some pills out there that, that say that, that you can control your ejaculation or delay your ejaculation, if you, I, I don't recommend that. Honestly, it's, it's not safe and, and I mean, it doesn't make any sense to use that. 
And don't use desensitizers, okay? This is my personal preference. If you use them and you like it, okay, whatever. But you see, what this does is it, it, it makes your penis sort of like numb in terms of sensations. And you you miss a lot out of it. I mean, you're really missing a lot when you do that. And and that's, I don't think it's, I, I don't like that. And I, I don't think it's the correct way to do it. I mean, there's other ways to do it. Like I said before, there's other options. And I would not use any of these two. But that's uh, my opinion. And you can do whatever. But this is what I think. So now we go to the long-term exercises to last longer in bed. These ones are the ones that I recommend to do. Why? Because this, this one's actually going to give you the strength and they're going to give you the control and power to, to do it for the rest of your life. And that's what we want, really. I mean, you can do this, you know, shortcuts, but these ones are the ones that are going to last. But these ones require time, exercise, and discipline, all right? So the first thing is the Kegel exercises. The Kegel exercises for men, the first thing you need to do is find your PC muscle, all right? Um, this muscle is going to stop uh, urination voluntarily, so... How you find it, you, you, you go to, when you go to the toilet, hold your urination. When you do that, concentrate on the muscles that you feel are working. And that muscle is the PC muscle, the one that actually stops urination. All right. So it's important because then when you start doing the exercises, you need to, you, you know what muscles you need to uh, contract and how you, you need to do it. All right. Exercise the PC muscle every day. Uh, and you will be able to control ejaculation much better. So let me um, explain uh, a little bit about the PC muscle. The PC muscle, the complete name is the pubococcygeus muscle, all right? Uh, that's why it's PC, okay? Um, it comes, uh, it goes from the tailbone to the pelvic bone in a hammock shape, okay? So I'm going to show you some pictures now, but, but if you can imagine and you're going to see it very clear, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a muscle that goes from the tailbone all the way to the, uh, to the pubic bone, all right? I said pelvic bone here, but it's uh, the pubic bone, all right? It's part of the pelvic floor muscles, and these are called the levator ani muscles. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, there are three muscles that actually control, they're all together, it's like a web of muscles, and it's, sometimes it's difficult to know, actually, they all move together. It's, it's difficult to just isolate one, all right? But um, it, it's, a, it's a web of muscles that, that, that hold everything uh, from in the pelvic area, right? It's involved in the orgasmic contractions and uh, stops urination, as I said before. Uh, and it's a muscle, so it needs exercise to be in good shape, like any other muscle. Your bicep needs uh, exercise in order to grow or to be strong. Same thing with the uh, PC muscle, all right? So this is the picture, okay? This is a picture from the side view. And here's what I said about the hammock shape. You can see this is the, pel uh, the pubic bone and uh, it goes all the way to the, to the tailbone right here, okay? And this is the PC muscle, all right? Uh, so you, this way you can you, you understand. It's, it's a group of muscles, okay? And, and, and the, the, the PC muscle is, a, is, a, is one of them, all right? If you're looking from the top, uh, this is a, you can imagine, okay, here. Now this is your, your, your pelvis here, and, and this is the muscles. You can see how, how they, it's like, a, like a, it, they hold everything there, okay? They are the muscles that hold everything. It's, that, it's not only important for, for ejaculation purposes, but also for, 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 you know, when you grow older, for ur urination problems and so on. It's, it's important to have these muscles in very, very good shape. This is another top view. So you can see here, okay, here is the uh, pubococcygeus muscle, the puborectal muscle, and this other muscle. These have very funny names here, you can see. But this is the PC muscle, right? Uh, sorry, this one, right? Here. Yeah, this one right here. It's, it's, uh, th this one is another one, this one, and as you can see, it's like a web of muscles. This is um, uh, the, the anus, right? And actually, they also close the anus, okay? So the, all these muscles, you can imagine these are like a web of muscles that actually contract. If you, if you do the exercises, I'm going to talk about it a little bit later here. Uh, it's, it's, you're going to feel how they all sort of like work together, all right? And uh, these are, well, this is the penis where it starts. The penis starts here and goes all the way there. And uh, so urination, that's why, you know, these are connected to the urine, uh, to the urethra, uh, canal and that's why they they actually stop uh, urination all right so the kegel exercises sequence this is what you're going to do 
Once you find the muscle, the final, uh, the, the PC muscle, you find it uh, stopping urination. Okay? You know where it is, you felt it before. So now, to start with, I recommend to do it laying on your side uh, on, on your back first. Why? Because again, we have, you know, the gravity works the way it works. And if it's not very strong, you're going to be holding your whole viscera. Okay. You're going to be holding your whole body, basically. Well, not the inside of your body is going to be, it's what uh, these muscles are holding. So, you, uh, if you're laying on the side, you're not holding anything. It's a lot easier to do it, all right? So when you start after that, you can do it sitting or you can do it standing, all right? So now you squeeze the PC muscle and lift upwards. You have to feel like you're lifting that muscle sort of like upwards towards your, 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 your tummy or your, your belly button, upwards, okay? It has to go upwards. I mean, you're going to feel like your anus is contracting and everything is like lifting up, okay? This is the, the, the sensation you need to have when you're uh, exercising this muscle, okay? So the, the, the sequence is lift, hold, and then relax slowly. Now, this whole sequence should go between 8 and 10 seconds. So you lift for three seconds or four seconds, then you hold for two or three seconds, and then you let go slowly, okay? Now you do this, uh, at the beginning you do as, as strong as you can do it. If your muscle is in good shape, you're gonna be able to do it stronger, and, and if not, less stronger, okay? Le intensity is gonna be less. So you're gonna be increasing the intensity slowly, all right? So we start with eight to 10 contractions at the beginning. When you start, try to do eight to 10, no more, yeah, it will, it will, you, you will go more with time, all right? The goal is to reach 30 plus every day, as much as you want, of course, yeah, there's no limit. If you want to do 100, you can do, but at least 30, minimum 30 every day. Uh, you can do them in the car once you, you, you have control of it. You can do them anywhere. You can do it sitting in the computer. Any, any time is good and nobody's going to notice anything. So there's no excuses to not do these exercises, all right? So that's, that's the sequence and that's the idea. And this is going to make your muscle, because it needs tone, is going to make your muscle be stronger. And you're going to have a lot more control over your ejaculation once you have this muscle in good shape, because then you're going to be able to hold your ejaculation. So, and that comes to the second uh, masturbation, uh, well, the second um, exercise that has to do with the Kegel exercise, because once you're, you're your PC muscle is in, in, in strong, you're going to be able to control your ejaculation. You're going to be able to, to actually stop it just by squeezing, all right? So the second exercise that I recommend to do is masturbation ejaculation uh, control, okay? And that, that's, this is how it works. So you're going to start masturbating. You have to masturbate in a minimum 10 minutes, okay? Don't do it for less than 10 minutes. And uh, stop once you're close to ejaculate or uh, the point of no return. You need to get as close as possible to ejaculation without ejaculating, okay? This is what we're trying to do. As close as, sometimes you, you might not be able to hold it, but it's practice, all right? But try to do it, all right? Try to get to the point of no return. Just before you get there, stop. Relax for a couple of minutes and start again. Do it several times. Do it minimum of two or three times when you do it and, and, and try to feel the muscles that are involved when you stop. Because when you stop, normally you contract and, and, and you're going to, feel the muscles that actually the PC muscles is going to be involved there as well, all right? That way you will learn to control the ejaculation and with time and practice you, you actually dominate it. These two exercises are great to actually dominate this and, uh, and uh, I highly recommend them. And, um, and that's it. And this is the presentation that I, I want to, sh to share with you. All right, I hope you liked that presentation that you get a lot of very valuable information out of it that you actually uh, can start doing these tricks tonight that you can actually start working on your uh, exercises tonight and tomorrow and the next day and do it steady and this problem can be solved and this is the most important part uh, it can be solved as i said at the beginning of the video um, in this link that you see right here below you can actually access an incredible program that can help you very much with this so i really recommend that you hit there watch it and try it because it can really help you with this problem don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, if you like this video to receive more videos and I will be seeing you in the next video. Thank you.